Hello citizens and welcome back. It's been a while since I posted. Not really been posting much. I've been watching the African Cup of Nations, the NFL playoffs. I kept myself busy and of course a lot of work, but I'm back now, ready for a new week of football and ready to uh, jump back into the Premier League and the Champions League as well. Now it is the end of the transfer window and City have come out... I don't want to say well, and I don't want to say poor either. We, we sold Torres to Barcelona. It was always going to happen. He said he wanted to leave. And we're not a club to keep players against their will. If a player says that they want to leave, we let them go. And I guess you still don't turn down Barcelona. You know, they're still a big club. So Torres wanted to go, so he went. And he scored for them the other day, so good for him. But it still hurts a little bit because I think he would have been great for us in the future. If we kept open for five, six years, I think it wouldn't have been world class. You know, hopefully his development goes well at Barcelona. I think it will. But yeah, we, we had a real good play on our hands there. But we have signed Julian Alvarez today, you know, and um, I have no idea who he was. I still don't know, but I looked into him on Google. And if you YouTube his name, the first video that comes up is a compilation of his goals and his highlights. And he looks good. He can use his right foot, his left foot. You know, he's, he's got a shot on him from distance. He goes around the keeper. He's got a bit of height, a lot of pace. And it looks like he can ride a challenge or two as well. So his video looks quite good, but after you only seeing the good of him. But I think with... Him or signing him, you know, he's 22 years old. He's not exactly young. He's not been signed for the youth team. He's been signed to play a bit like how when we signed Gabriel Jesus. And if he, you know, he joins Jesus and he, he actually plays as a striker and not as a false number nine or a winger. I think we could have a real good player on our hands, you know. I, I trust the process, you know. I trust Pep and the team to get it right. We spent 19 million pounds, 17 million pounds on him. So he, if he is one for the future and we keep him for five, six years, you know, look forward to seeing where he goes. But as for the rest of the season, Lack of striker, is it going to hurt us? We, we've mentioned it before. We've talked about it a lot. We did miss out Kane at the beginning of the season. You know, and I think if we'd signed Kane, we might not have signed this player. You don't know. But looking forward, I mean, we're second to Liverpool for goal scored for the season. We're on 55. Liverpool are on 58. Our top goal scorer is Raheem with Bernardo on seven. Then it's De Bruyne on six. You know, our top assist maker is Jesus on seven. Then it's Cancelo on five. And we have Mares on four. So... You know, we're not exactly scoring goals for fun. We're not exactly getting a lot of assists either. You know, I think a lot of the work this season has been done in defence. And I think the defence works really hard and done really well. I think that's where a lot of our wins are coming from. Because we're, we're scraping through games 2-1, 1-0, you know, winning last minute against Arsenal. We had a battle against Brentford, a battle against Villa. We're coming away through these games just about because we're hanging on defensively more than scoring goals. And I think for the rest of the season, that's probably how it's going to go as well. So we are going to need a striker in the summer, or at least we're going to have to bring someone in. And does San and Alvarez change our policy in the summer? Will we go for Kane again? I don't think we will go for Kane again. You know, he's going to be a year older, I think. With Conte being there now, maybe Kane wants to stay. But does it mean we sign someone like Haaland? Possibly, possibly not. I mean, if we did sign Haaland, you expect an 150 million, possibly at least. And his agent fees, and he wants high wages as well. So you're looking at a lot of money there. So I think this Alvarez deal tells us a lot of what's going to happen next season. I think if he comes in, you know, we're building for the future. We're going for um, youth. And I think that's right. When you look at our other signings from Brazil, they've all been quite successful. You know, Edison, he's just signed a new contract recently as well. I think we're trying to get Raheem back on a long-term contract because, you know, we've opened up negotiations with him again. Obviously, Jesus has been there for a while. Bernardo been there for a while. So we're seeing all these plays come in and we're not exactly buying them and selling them off. I know we did against with Torres, but Torres wanted to go. So I think this Alvarez signing tells us quite a bit what's going to happen next season. And I don't think we're going to be signing a striker and I don't know how to feel about that. You know, I do want to see players come up from the youth team like McAtee. I want to see Delap. I want to see players given a chance, but like Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer is going to get better next season as well. I think he's going to probably get more game time. Will it be at the level of Foden? Maybe, maybe not. But... You know, we, we do need to see more of the youth team come up. We spent enough money on it over the years, more, enough um, development. So it's about time we start reaping the rewards for that. And with all these loan transfers out, I mean, we just signed a loan Patrick Roberts out again. I mean, is he ever going to play for us? He looked like a decent player. Jack Harrison looks like a decent player. We'll let him go to Leeds now. You know, so we need to start using these youth team for ourselves. So this signing, yeah, it's another youth player. Will he play a lot? Possibly not. Does that mean next season we're going to be playing another false nine system? We're not going to play striker? I hope not because I don't think we can keep doing it. I don't think we're going to, you know, I don't think we can keep living on our defense. So hopefully we 
jump in the transfer window in the summer and we spend a big on a striker but with the news coming out that we're interested in Declan Rice like everyone else is you know and we do need a replacement for Nandinho but with Rodri there any replacement with Sani is not going to play every game you know going to be rotated and to be honest we look a better team with Rodri in the team I don't think we're we're better off without him so you know I, I don't see any like spending 100 million pound on Declan Rice is going to do us any favors to be honest with you that's just me anyway that's just what I'm thinking so looking ahead Good signing, Julian Alvarez, but where does that leave us for next season? It probably means we're going to be signing another midfielder or another winger in the transfer window. And we need a striker. Or can I see us go spending £150 million on one? I don't think so. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, it's good to be back. Do think about joining us on Twitter. The link is below. Um, please leave a like and, you know, if, if you like the video, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment as well. I do try and respond to them all. So do that. And I am going to look at starting a Discord channel soon as well, where we all can jump in and share our opinions. And you can all have a go me about how bad my opinions are. And hopefully soon, in the next month or two, we can start doing these videos live and getting people on as well and talking to more people and getting reactions live. But yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And I will be doing a watch along for the following game on the weekend. So again, please do join us for that. And until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like. Bye.